Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd What is the ruling regarding the person who delays their making up their fast? For example, the woman who has to delay making up her fast that she missed due to her, her menstruation during the month of Ramadan. Or the person who broke their fast for whatever reason and they have to make up their fasting. So what is the ruling related to this issue? An Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha qalat kana yakunu alayya as-sawm min Ramadan fa ma astati' an aqdiya illa fi sha'ban ruahu Bukhari wa Muslim In this hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha she said that I had to make up some fasting for the month of Ramadan but I was unable to make it up until the month of Sha'ban. And this is uh, collected in Bukhari and Muslim. In this hadith, there are many benefits that Shaykh Ali Bassam mentioned. Some of the benefits, first and foremost, is the permissibility of making up a person's fast, of a person making up their fast at Ramadan, all the way until Sha'ban. As long as they have an excuse, they have an other shari, they have an excuse to do so. Another benefit of this hadith is that it's better, that we learn from this hadith, that it's better to make up your fast as soon as possible as long as you don't have an excuse. So the, be- the best is if you have to make up fasting in Ramadan to make it up as, as soon as is possible. And Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she made clear in that hadith that she uh, had an excuse that prevented her from making up the fast until Sha'ban. Another benefit of this hadith is that it is not permissible to delay making up the fast all the way until the next Ramadan. And the ulama, they differ over the obligation to make kafara, mean expiation for the person who, who does wait until the next following year of Ramadan comes and they didn't make it up and so then they owe from two previous Ramadans. They, they, discuss, they have a difference of opinion of whether that person needs to pay uh, you know, if they have to make some other kafara for that, some other expiation, uh, as well as making up those days. Another benefit of this hadith is this hadith also shows us the the beauty and the righteousness of Aisha, the mother of the believers, radiallahu ta'ala anha, and that our women, the wives, our wives, our daughters and stuff, should look at her as a beautiful example on how to practice their religion, that she is a beautiful example of the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and righteousness and humbleness and ibadah and humility and khair and ilm and seeking knowledge and disseminating knowledge. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she's a beautiful example for the believing women. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and bless us with ilm nafi wa rizqin tayyib wa amalin mutakabbilin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.